Imagine a world where every species has limitless resources at its disposal, boundless food, unlimited space, and unending opportunities for survival and reproduction. In such a world, the population of each species would explode exponentially, unrestricted and unbounded. This scenario, though intriguing, is a fantasy. In reality, populations face the harsh truths of limited resources and environmental constraints, leading them to follow more complex and fascinating patterns of growth. In this essay, we delve into the captivating world of exponential and logistic growth, unlocking the secrets of how populations expand and contract in the face of nature's limits. Exponential growth, the ideal conditions, Exponential growth describes an idealized scenario where a population increases by a constant proportion at each time step. It is mathematically represented by the equation dn dt equals sine rn, where n is the population size, r is the rate of growth, and t represents time. This results in a J-shaped curve when population size is plotted over time, indicating continuous and unlimited growth. In an ideal environment with unlimited resources, such as in a laboratory setting, bacterial populations exemplify exponential growth. For instance, a colony of bacteria can double at regular intervals, leading to massive increases in population size in just a few hours. This model, while simplistic, sets the stage for understanding more complex growth patterns observed in nature. Realities of logistic growth. Unlike exponential growth, logistic growth considers the limitations of the environment and resources. This growth pattern is described by the equation dn dt equals sine rn 1 nk, where k is the carrying capacity of the environment. This model produces an S-shaped curve, indicating a rapid initial growth that slows down as the population approaches the carrying capacity. In natural settings, logistic growth is commonly observed. For example, populations of deer in a forest may grow rapidly when few individuals are present, but will slow as space and food become scarce, eventually stabilizing near the carrying capacity. This model helps ecologists predict how populations will respond to changes in their environments and manage wildlife more effectively. Comparative analysis, exponential versus logistic growth. The primary difference between exponential and logistic growth lies in their assumptions about environmental resources. Exponential growth assumes unlimited resources, leading to unimpeded growth, while logistic growth introduces the concept of a carrying capacity, leading to a moderated growth pattern. Graphically, exponential growth is represented by a steep, ever-increasing curve, while logistic growth shows a steep rise that flattens at the carrying capacity. Understanding these patterns helps ecologists and environmental managers forecast and plan for future population changes, ensuring sustainable management of natural resources. Charles Darwin's notion of the struggle for existence aligns closely with the principles of logistic growth. Darwin observed that not all individuals in a population would survive to reproduce, implying a natural limitation on population growth. This observation is a cornerstone of the logistic growth model, which incorporates competition and limited resources into its framework. Darwin's insights underscore the importance of considering environmental constraints when studying population dynamics. His theories not only revolutionized biology, but also provided a critical foundation for modern ecological modeling. Carrying capacity, denoted as K in the logistic growth model, represents the maximum population size that an environment can sustain indefinitely. It is a pivotal concept in ecology as it defines the upper limit of population growth based on resource availability. Examples like the deer population in a forest or fish in a lake illustrate carrying capacities. When these populations exceed their carrying capacities, resources become overutilized, leading to population declines. 
Understanding and managing carrying capacities is essential for sustainable resource management and conservation efforts. The intrinsic growth rate, R, varies significantly among species and is influenced by factors such as lifespan, reproductive age, and the number of offspring per reproductive event. Species with high intrinsic growth rates can recover quickly from low population densities, whereas those with low rates may struggle to rebound. For instance, bacteria have a high intrinsic growth rate, allowing rapid population increases, while elephants have a low growth rate, leading to slower recovery from population declines. Recognizing these differences is crucial for managing species conservation and understanding ecological dynamics. Graphical insights. Understanding population curves. Population graphs provide visual insights into growth trends and are essential tools in ecology. The J-shaped curve of exponential growth and the S-shaped curve of logistic growth offer clear pictures of how populations respond to environmental conditions. These graphs not only illustrate theoretical models, but also help in the practical assessment of population status and the effectiveness of conservation measures. They are indispensable in the field of population ecology for both research and management. The role of intraspecific competition. Intraspecific competition occurs when individuals of the same species compete for limited resources. This competition can significantly influence population dynamics, especially when populations are near their carrying capacities. In ecosystems where resources are scarce, such competition can lead to variations in reproductive success, survival rates, and ultimately, population size. Managing intraspecific competition is often a key consideration in wildlife conservation and management strategies. Human impact on population dynamics. Human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution and overexploitation have profound impacts on population dynamics. These actions can alter growth patterns, disrupt ecological balances and lead to the decline of species. Conservation efforts aimed at reducing human impact are vital for maintaining biodiversity and ecological health. These efforts include establishing protected areas, restoring habitats and enforcing sustainable management practices. Different species have evolved various reproductive and survival strategies that influence their growth patterns. These adaptations help species cope with environmental pressures and resource limitations. Understanding these evolutionary strategies provides insights into why certain species exhibit specific growth patterns and how they have adapted to their ecological niches. This knowledge is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies and managing ecosystems sustainably. While traditional models like exponential and logistic growth provide valuable insights, they also have limitations. These models often assume homogeneous environments and constant growth rates, which may not hold true in complex ecological settings. Modern approaches in population modeling incorporate more dynamic elements, such as stochastic events, spatial heterogeneity, and species interactions providing a more detailed and accurate picture of population dynamics. Examining the growth patterns of yeast in a controlled environment and harbor seals in the wild illustrates the practical application of logistic growth models. While yeast shows a classic S-shaped curve, the population of harbor seals displays fluctuations around the carrying capacity, influenced by environmental variability. These case studies highlight the adaptability of the logistic model and its ability to reflect real-world complexities in population growth. Understanding population growth patterns is crucial for conservation biology. It helps in predicting population declines, understanding the impacts of environmental changes 
and implementing recovery strategies for endangered species. Effective conservation practices are informed by robust ecological models that accurately reflect the growth dynamics of populations under various environmental conditions. This knowledge is essential for the sustainable management and preservation of biodiversity. As we advance our understanding of population dynamics, the integration of more sophisticated models and interdisciplinary approaches will enhance our ability to predict and manage ecological changes. The future of population ecology lies in its ability to adapt to these changes, incorporate new data, and provide insights that are crucial for the conservation of our planet's biological diversity. Exploring the nuances of exponential and logistic growth not only enriches our understanding of ecological processes, but also equips us with the tools to better preserve the natural world. As we continue to uncover and apply these intricate patterns of life, we step closer to a sustainable coexistence with the rich biodiversity that surrounds us.